Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to talk about Microsoft Azure Marketplace, right? So what is Azure Marketplace and what it has to offer as a, we as an end customer or end user of this platform, right? Now this platform is built by Microsoft and in collaboration with the Microsoft partners, they have built their own solutions and those solutions are deployed across the Azure Marketplace, right? And those solutions are available for different customers with the different flavors, right? And customers can leverage those uh, solutions and products and services, right? But exactly what is it and how it is going to help and solve the real problems that each and every organization is looking for, right? So since we are seeing that uh, cloud is booming and cloud has taken place over the on-premises as well as the traditional data centers, right? So marketplace is going to be kind of a premier destination for all the uh, SaaS or overall in, in short, we can say the software needs uh, along with the right set of tools and systems and technologies that each and every partner has built across the Azure, right? And those are the solutions that those partners has developed in-house uh, with partnering with their respective partners or with the Microsoft and those solutions are available part of this one or this marketplace, right? And all of those services can be procured and used by each and every organization as per their needs, as per solutions requirements and as per their business basically. So it's, it is not something uh, each, organi each organization does not need any of those solutions. Instead, each organization has an opportunity as well as build their own solution for their own needs and they can leverage customized solutions, right? So based on their requirements, be it any industry, be it finance industry, banking, insurance, uh, be it manufacturing industry or be it any other industries across Right, so all those industries can be leveraging or be able to leverage and use all those solutions, right? And all those are hosted within Azure and similar marketplace are also available or similar services and products are available on different cloud platforms as well, right? But it totally depends on how we as the end customer are going to leverage and use those one, right? And it depends on us how and what exactly we are looking for right so i'm going to share my screen and show you uh, how and where it is so how azure marketplace looks like what are the things available for us and what are the capabilities we can leverage so all right here i have shared my screen and you can see that on the screen I'm on the Azure Marketplace, right? And from here, you can see that this is the Marketplace URL, which is azuremarketplace.microsoft.com. And I'm logged in with my uh, Azure account here. And then even without logged in also, you can see all of this, but if you are logged in, then it is going to give you the more clarity as well as you can see all the different products and services, right? Even you can, get all the Microsoft Azure services as well, including all of these here you can see on the screen and then other as well. So to see all the services, we need to go to here on the more options. And once you click on apps, we can see all the applications by their respective category here. And under each category, we can see all the different services solutions available from different partners and vendors from Microsoft side. So these are the different partners and vendors of Microsoft that they have built those solutions and those solutions are available for us and for the customers across, right? And now you might be seeing that there are solutions, let's say for this one, it starts with free and then others uh, starts with a particular amount, right? Similarly, there are different solutions which starts with the particular amount from the day one or from start. And those would be uh, pro providing services based on the 
different areas and different solutions and criteria. So let's say this one UI path robot, it price its prices varies depending on the plan or the service that we are going to procure or purchase, right? So let's look at the some of the different options. Uh, from the top here, you can see under the trials, we can see either all or free trial softwares. So if we click on that, we can see all the free trial applications or services that are available for us to use across the all the categories or all the different categories from the left side here. If you wanted to look into the compute only, so we can see there are different free trial services under compute category and we can leverage those for our needs and test and perform particular use case or requirements and upon our uh, expected results, we can go ahead and either use those services or maybe we can uh, use different services. So whichever is going to be fit for our needs and requirements, right? Under the operating systems, we get to see or use Linux and Windows operating systems. So basically these are the services uh, hosted on top of Linux and Windows across the Azure. And these are the services hosted by different partners and vendors that Microsoft has in partnership with. And those can be used for all of those situations or different requirements basically. And here you can see the Microsoft as uh, the publisher. So publishers includes Microsoft and partners. So if you click or select only partners, that means you get to see a uh, lot many different services from their partner ecosystem. And from the Microsoft side, there are certain services. Now from Microsoft side, it is not showing up anything, but we need to select a specific area or criteria. Let's say select the containers and then click on all. There's nothing under the free trial software. If we select all, then we get to see two different options, right? So this way we can definitely see and leverage and different services basically. Under the pricing model, there are three different options for us to use. One is bring your own license, free and pay as you go. So bring your own license is something which is going to allow us and give us an opportunity to bring our own license from respective partner or vendor, wherever we have procured that respective service. Let's say we have procured uh, Oracle or AWS and we wanted to bring those license over to Azure and leverage those services from Microsoft Azure ecosystem from their partner-led solutions, right? And those solutions can be used with those licenses here and we can use that use those services for our different requirements and use cases. On the free, free option here, those are the solutions which are free for certain time, a particular time period, maybe 30 days, 90 days or something. And upon that, we can go ahead and, or those would be charged a particular amount, right? So particular amount is going to be either uh, from infra Azure infrastructure cost, as well as the service cost that the respective vendor or the service provider is uh, providing that service through Microsoft Azure, right? So there are two different costs. One is with Azure infrastructure cost, and the second cost is with the service provider, right? So those costs would also be uh, incurred for those services, right? And on the pay as you go is going to be something uh, we all know as Microsoft as well as different cloud providers, they have that they have different pricing models, including pay as you go, uh, reservation saving, uh, saving instance or saving plans, right? And all those different plans or all those different uh, methods where we can save a lot of costs, right? So this way we can, or in the pay as you go method, we would be paying the cost basis on our usage, basis on our needs, how much compute or how much service we have used. And basis on that, it is going to calculate the cost and it is going to simply be charged us, right? And the last is here, product types. There are three different virtual machine images, solution templates and SaaS, right? So let's say if we select the SaaS, we would see different. If we select virtual machine images, we would see different types of solutions available and 
under solution templates, we would see some of the different solutions, right? So here we need to change the trials and then we would see some of the different solutions available, right? So these are the different solutions that we can leverage and use for different set of requirements for our needs and requirements, definitely, right? And basis on that, we would have to find the solutions as per our requirement, right? So now we will look around a pricing of each of those as well as each of the areas or each of the categories from the left side here. We can see that there are different things available or different options available for us. And from each of the area, we can leverage different services. Let's say I'm going Microsoft Enter ID and then now it is loading across all of these categories plus all the uh, default options. Let's say I select the business management. It is going to give us different services available for the same, right? So now it is showing get it now. That means this specific service is going to be charging something uh, based on the needs. Let's say what this service has to offer, right? So by default, this works with Enter ID to get started with sign up and we can sign it up with. It provides single sign-on and trust supports rich enterprise class single sign-on experience with Emilio and out of the box user sign-in using the organization accounts hosted within Active Directory, right? It is easy to configure and everything. So basically this service is created and hosted on top of Microsoft Azure for Microsoft Enter ID and we can leverage, right? So similarly, if you wanted to see this specific service where it starts with 0.1875 per hour, let's say click on it. And from here you can see they have given a lot of information about it. Uh, what are the different images are hosted on Azure for this specific service. And we as a customer can leverage and use. And it provides plans plus pricing details here and different uh, flavors of those virtual machines where it is going to show infrastructure cost as well as software cost and hourly rates and then monthly rates, right? So this is the complete details about that specific service or tool we can say that we are going to get. And based on our needs, we can either leverage any of these methods uh, or if we have our own licenses, though. So we can bring those licenses by using bring your own license area, right? Let's go one step back and click on, let's say this one. So from here, we can see similar thing, similar details available for us. And we can see that it it is a part of IT and management tools and compute. And then we can see the pricing per hour, and then under price, plans and pricing, we can see starting at this price. And then there are different flavors with infrastructure costs, software cost, hourly rates, and monthly cost, right? So on each of these different flavors, we can see, or we get different pricing, different capacity, different device or drive type, and different RAMs and categories. So everything is going to be different as well as we can uh, pick up or we can provision as per our needs based on the different locations as well, right? <clears throat> so these are the different products are part of Microsoft Azure Marketplace, right? And we can leverage and use all of these for different requirements, basically. And based on the category as well. So it totally depends on the organization, how they wanted to use, what they need, what they are expecting, and whatever the solution that they are going to, or they're trying to build basically, right? And that way they can uh, get any of those services and use that, right? So yeah, this is what I wanted to show you to this video. And this is pretty straightforward. There is nothing, uh, nothing to get into deep. Definitely as per needs, there are different uh, ways and areas 
where or whether we we should get into the deep of each of the areas and tools and systems and then we can leverage any of those systems right let's say i wanted to uh, build something out of ubuntu systems then i can either select this service or i can simply go with wordpress or depending on uh, my use case right so depending on that definitely there is something uh, there is need of bringing our needs here and then find a solutions and build that solution from scratch right so yeah that's all for this video and hope you like it please do like share and subscribe and don't forget to watch other videos as well and thanks for watching bye for now